I went with China's Xinhua News Agency, now I'm in Tianshui City, northwest China's Gansu province. Right behind me here is a local workshop producing carved lacquerware. Today I will be an apprentice here and learn how to make a piece of carved lacquerware. See what in those two big bowls as lacquer sap ripped from lacquer trees. It will make people allergic, but if it is used properly, it has very good qualities. If you paint it into a wooden tray or a bowl, it will dry to a very hard, durable finish with a very rich and beautiful sheen. Making a piece of carved lacquerware involves a series of steps including base carving, fine carving, polishing and decorating and so on. Today we will go to three workshops in the factory which are carpentry, lacquering and decorating workshops which are three major parts of making a piece of carved lacquerware. At the very beginning, Workers will select a fine piece of wood. According to what kind of product he is doing, he will pop out a wood, wooden core and polish. In order to build up a thick layer of lacquer, the craftspeople have to paint several layers of lacquer onto the wooden core, but they couldn't paint on the, all those layers at once. Each layer had to dry for several days before the new layer could be applied. The layers of lacquer will make the piece of wood become smooth and hard like jade. And then the wood will be sent to the carpentry workshop and workers here will carve into the layers. The most exciting moment is coming and now I am at the decorating workshop where the wood with thick layers of lacquer will be sent here and turned into exquisite pieces of art. Today I will be an apprentice here and learn how to decorate the lacquerware. Uh, we can see that workers here use eggshells, abalone shells and seashells and uh, some gold, gold foils to decorate the lacquerwares. And now we will use uh, these uh, smashed eggshells and now we, uh, I will learn to use them to stick on the wares. And and make make it shape into a vase. Okay, so I tried two pieces of eggshell onto the uh, to stick it onto the um, onto the wear, and as we can see, it takes a lot of patience, and it is really a hard work to do. Uh, look, the crane on the board is crane. Isn't it beautiful? Workers here use seashells and abalone shells shells to make uh, make the shape of crane. Mm, the abalone shells will present on different colors from different angles. It's like a magic. Today we have fun experiencing the making of a lacquerware carve. Making a piece of carved lacquerware is nothing easy as we can see. It takes great patience and dedication to do such a tedious and hard work. In the past, only rich and powerful could use such artistic articles, but nowadays, this craft is widely used in furniture making and artwares. Um, in Tianshui, there are more and more companies and workshops which are dedicated to inheriting this unique craft. Uh, the traditional craft with its unique charm has attracted more and more young people to work on it 
and they also bring new vitality to this old craft.